some brand new stories and breaking news. There are massive protests in Egypt right now. That half a billion bucks isn't even enough to touch the national debt. I like how you say smackaroos. Yeah, I think I, that really kind of I gets gave, us in the that spirit was my of lottery. Gift to our producers today. <laughs> Day two of crucial meetings on Capitol Hill. Good morning. I'm John Scott. Hi, everybody. I'm Jenna Lee, and UN Ambassador Susan Rice is meeting. Right, but did, did that right. person ever win the lottery? <laughs> Just wondering. We'll do a little research on it, that. It does buy you a lot of protection from bill collectors. That's good news. Uh, there's a brutal home invasion to tell you about inside a man. And Senator Collins, who's been less outspoken than others on this issue, is echoing their other Republican senators who have said they have concerns about the possible nomination of Ambassador Rice for Secretary of State in the wake of some of her comments uh, about what exactly prompted the terror attack on our consulate in Benghazi that led to the murders of four Americans on 9-11. Collins said she needs more information, as you just heard, before she will decide whether to, to support any nomination. Of course, that's a hypothetical nomination. We don't even know if if it's coming or not. Ambassador Rice is also scheduled to meet with Republican Senator Bob Corker of Tennessee today. When we get his comments, we will bring those uh, to you as well. We will definitely. Well, today, Republicans are voicing optimism about reaching a deal with the White House to avoid that so-called fiscal cliff. But the president may have to twist a few arms before Democrats are ready to come to the table. We'll see. It's always a guessing game uh, these days when it comes to the fiscal cliff. Uh, welcome to the second hour of Happening Now. We're glad you're with us. I'm Jenna Lee. What a way to run a country, huh? I'm John Scott. Republicans say they are willing to see some so sobering new evidence of Iran's dangerous nuclear ambitions. What do you make of the timing on this, as well as the reporting? Well, it was obviously leaked by some government or by the International Atomic Energy. Do you share any of that evidence with us? Just, you know, you, you and me and, and the rest of America right now? Well, I, I can share what's already leaked out. They're working on a very sophisticated approach to, uh, to weapons. Now, take, take the diagram you just showed. People say, oh, but that weapon is three times more powerful than the Pakistani proliferation network that had Chinese markings because China gave its plans for nuclear weapons to Pakistan. And I don't doubt that Iran has purchased. Well, one of their top uh, nuclear officials, if you will, came out and said, yeah, we're, we're continuing to enrich our uranium, and this is what we're moving forward with. We just got the report into the media as well. How do we com combat this? Not only through sanctions and leads us to 2013. There's going to be some sort of tipping point, if you will. I'd be very surprised. Look, Iran's not ready to have you, as always, on set. Appreciate Thank it. You. John? In the How you keep just your pork clean. <laughs> Dr. Levin Ogre. Serious topic, but just make sure everything is well. And some good tips. So BLTs yes. were, were cleared hot, John. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, around the clock demonstrations in Cairo. All of this coming as one of each. Jenna, I know your husband got to play with lots of cool toys when he was a Navy SEAL. That's true. But nothing like this. <laughs> this is the gift. Figure out how to keep that thing. <laughs> well, speaking of holiday cheer, Legoland is kicking off its holiday. So, anyway, so it looks great, though, right? I like the real tree, but you know. 200. You can't really replace the real tree scent, right? No. That's where the money is. That's, that's, that's the good it. stuff. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. America Live starts right now.